Well guys, I am finally done with my Park Zone 228 camouflage job. Um, detailing, stuff like that. Uh, got the engine, the center of the engine painted gray like it should be. Got the prop center painted steel. The Hamilton Standard stickers and the yellow prop tips. Um, the anti-grip or anti-slip grip tape that they put on is actually electrical tape. Took electrical tape and put on both sides. Made my own. Put a second pilot in there because a T28 usually had two people, especially in this mode. Um, being an attack uh, plane, Vietnam. Um, got the GT light system in it. Got the wingtip lights. And the landing lights. Under both wings. So, yeah. She is finally done. Um, also, inside, I put in a Admiral uh, gyro receiver, three uh, axis gyro receiver, um, so I can fly it when it's a little windy out. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun to fly. So now that it's finally done, um, that's going to be awesome. That flat spinner, that's cool looking. But, I don't know, it's going to be a lot of fun guys. Definitely looking forward to going out and flying it. Not the weather's going to be getting colder, it's going to be a pain in the ass, but you know, what do you do? But anyhow, uh, this is the uh, last of the update on the repaint. And stick around because there's going to be a couple other ones getting done. Um, I've got another T28 that is going to be painted as a U.S. Navy Blue Angels. Um, it'll look like the real aircraft that's in the Kalamazoo, Michigan uh, Air Museum up there, the Kalamazoo uh, Air, Air Museum's got a T-28 painted as a Blue Angel, and I guess it was on the air show circuit for several years. So, this is going to be painted as that aircraft. But, anyway guys, just wanted to show you it's finished, and uh, now comes the fun part, taking it out flying. So, take care guys. Thanks. Bye.